hello everyone welcome back to another video on erit academy so today i have taken a question from science and technology where i have taken this question from uh, the very recent exam conducted by upsc the cds exam which was conducted in 2022 itself somewhere in march and uh, march so this question i have kept because this question gives us a very good conceptual clarity about the events which were happening around us from last two years that is covid coronavirus so the question is asking consider the following pairs of vaccines and category type so they have given covaxin covishield and sputnik 5 and uh, then they have given we have to tell under which category or the science behind it it has been created the vaccine has been created using which technology or what is the science behind it how it works okay so this question is very important because uh, this question is directly from the current affairs and it uh, it includes the important concept of biology which we read in ncrts or in current affairs and it gives us good hold on the uh, improving our concepts so that's why we will discuss it in detail okay so before we proceed corona virus or covid 19 uh this is a this was a, this is the image of the virus and it is a disease which was caused by virus called sars co Two that is the full form is severe acute respiratory syndrome coronavirus two that is called SARS-CoV-2, and it is a single stranded RNA RNA virus. So if you can have a look at the image, then just highlight, just observe two important thing that is the yellow aspect, that is spike protein, and the purple aspect that is RNA and N protein. So this virus is made up of single stranded RNA virus. okay and uh, that is contagious in human and this uh, virus has a string of nuclear pro uh, nucleo protein that helps in replication of the viral genome it has a spikes on the surface and that uh, surface of the enveloped virus and it gives us a crown like appearance under a microscope so this image of which you are seeing on the screen is basically the image the crown like appearance of the coronavirus under microscope and these spikes the yellow spikes they help virus to attach on the host cell okay so this was about coronavirus so it is m uh, a single stranded uh, rna virus why i am for emphasizing on rna virus because upsc has asked in past this uh, question they have given one statement that rna include uh, virus in sorry virus includes rna or dna or both so let's have a conceptual understanding about the viruses so virus basically virus may have dna or rna as their genetic material so the genetic composition can have the uh, dna or rna but never both okay so remember this so dna is uh, as it has been shown it is double stranded dna and single stranded dna it can also have the virus and rna has been shown with the single stranded so this is basic understanding about the genetic composition of the viruses now we should also have a conceptual understanding about the vaccines whenever we want to understand about vaccines first we should know that what uh, how the, these vaccines will work and how do we prepare them okay so for vaccines also there are different ways to stimulate vaccines are basically what when whenever we are injected with vaccines they work in different manner to stimulate a strong antibody response to viral threats right as well as they protect against some bacteria and toxins also that is definitely there it is not only about viral okay now we will understand few important things uh, the important things are that how these uh, what are the ways different ways through which vaccines will be prepared so nowadays we have a new mechanism and there are traditional uh, mechanism also of developing the vaccines let's understand them one by one so the first one here is nucleic acid vaccine so nucleic acid vaccine is uh, uh, is a uh, form uh, formation of vaccine where we are using just uh, one component of nucleic acid second is rna vaccines so rna vaccines ha will have uh, different mrna that is uh, a messenger rna carrying uh, carrying the genetic sequence for the protein or carrying some information so uh, we have used rna vaccines for developing uh, vaccines for covid as well okay so here the genetic composition for developing that vaccine will be rna okay 
Next is the third one is DNA vaccine where we develop the vaccine using DNA strand. Okay, so this is these are three are the new mechanism. Traditionally, we have been developing vaccine by using natural virus. Natural virus is basically we use live attenuated virus. Attenuated virus means weakened virus. So when we inject a weakened virus in the body, then our body will develop a good memory about that virus and accordingly antibodies will be formed and whenever we will be infected with the actual virus then our body will be ready to fight with that virus the fifth mechanism the and the traditional way the fourth and fifth point which we are discussing are the traditional way of developing vaccines so we have been developing vaccines by using the killed virus so killed virus is basically uh, where we uh, kill the virus and a dead virus or inactive virus form of virus will be injected so you can uh, for example you can take the polio virus polio virus has been developed by using fourth technique as well and fifth technique as well so for our information we should know that vaccines can be developed traditionally and in a modern way by using these five techniques or the compositions okay now we shall understand about the question now with this understanding about vaccines how these vaccines are created traditionally and modern uh, days let's understand this question again now let's solve this question the question is saying consider the following pairs of vaccine and category so co-vaccine it is a vaccine it has been uh, developed or the genetic composition is what inactivated pathogen based vaccine true or false so we should have this conceptual understanding until unless we have read about it we cannot mark such questions so co-vaccin uh, basically one keyword is there which we should take care of so pathogen generally we will think that okay pathogen what is pathogen and we will get can confusion and we will not mark this answer so pathogens are basically it is a broad term uh, about bacteria virus or any other microorganisms that can cause disease okay so yes co-vaccin contains an inactive or dead form of virus itself okay and uh, it is created by uh, the dead virus dead form of the virus so this option is correct so one option is correct okay you can easily eliminate b so how it works it is given as an injection in our body uh, that to especially the muscle of the upper arm it will be injected and once it is it is injected it provokes an immune response that can block or kill the virus viruses future infection or invasion okay without actually causing the disease so this statement is right now let's have a look at how covid shield works so covid shield here we have it is basically based on viral vector based vaccine it is so the third option which has been given as a match for a sputnik uh, that is correct for covid shield okay so what is the meaning of vector here vector is basically a carrier like mosquito is a carrier carrier for malaria disease okay so what it does and how it works generally uh, i will show you with the help of the this image so scientists have taken a gene from the spike a protein on the surface of the coronavirus so you remember the first slide where we have discussed about the spike protein the yellow color protein when we were explaining the crown like structure of the coronavirus so scientists take this uh, protein uh, gene from this protein and they put them into a harmless virus to make the vaccine so this harmless virus is known as adenovirus so this adenovirus with the genetic information about the spike protein is injected in our body as a vaccine and here this adenovirus has become a trojan horse because it is carrying the information about the spike proteins when this vaccine will be injected in our body so then what happens this vaccine enters the cell which then starts producing the spike protein basically this trojan horse or the adenovirus it is carrying the genetic information about the spike protein so when it goes inside our body our body cells engulf it and it reaches to our cells nucleus and then the nucleus reads up the information the genetic information in it and it asks our cells to produce the spike protein as soon as the spike protein will be produced uh, in within our body then our body's immune system it, it starts reacting it starts producing antibodies and it activates the t cells to destroy the cells with spike protein 
so basically here it is a kind of mock drill so this mock drill is being done with the help of the adenovirus with the information of the about the genetic composition of the spike protein and now our body has done this mock drill and it is ready to fight any kind of future infection of coronavirus so later if anybody catches coronavirus the antibodies and the t cells will be triggered to fight the virus so this is about the covid shield how it works now the third information the third vaccine that is sputnik 5 it is also a viral vector based vaccine so it was the first coronavirus vaccine to use rather heterogeneous boosting approach and based on two different vectors uh, for two vaccine slots so it is also vector based vaccine okay so be very clear covishield and sputnik both so in this case the answer will be c that is one and three two is wrong covishield is not mrna vaccine it is a vector based based vaccine so you can easily eliminate two so your answer our answer will be c one and three okay now what is mrna vaccine in mrna vaccine basically mrna is known as messenger rna carrying the genetic sequence for the protein uh, in in our case a spike protein of the coronavirus and they are enclosed with a fatty nanoparticles and it resembles like a cell membrane so this will be directly injected in our body and our body's cells will read that message and they will start producing the uh, antibodies accordingly but it has its own pros and cons and uh, sometimes it the safety issues are there that they cannot enter the nucleus and they leave the blood stream quickly so their effectivity was in question uh, by the scientist and uh, it has been developed by BioNTech and Pfizer uh, and also an, another firm was there. So there are companies like Moderna and uh, Pfizer BioNTech who are developing mRNA based uh, vaccines for COVID. Okay, so this is about the vaccines, how they work and uh, uh, under which category they, uh, they will be, we can place them. So this is a very probable question and concept it is a concept based question so we should be ready and uh, we should have a conceptual understanding so what all we have discussed is about vaccines about genetic composition about the viruses and uh, about the coronavirus its uh, its structure and how it replicates now let's have a look about different information so here this table is there which is telling uh, where we have presented the information about traditional platforms of vaccine uh, how traditionally the vaccines will be formed so in the starting also we have discussed so live attenuated vaccines or the weakened va uh, viruses where we will be used uh, that way we have been traditionally producing the vaccine so we have produced such vaccines in case of polio measles influenza rotavirus bsg okay so if it comes then you know that in past also we have made vaccines using live weakened viruses inactivated vaccines where we have used dead virus has been used uh, vaccines have been prepared for polio rabies influenza cholera also for in case of hepatitis b hpv tetanus and diphtheria we have been using subunit vaccine where virus like particles from the organisms will be taken and vaccines have been developed for these the new platforms for human vaccines are uh, which we have discussed that is viral vectored vaccines where, uh, under which Covishield and uh, Sputnik will be uh, can be categorized then RNA uh, none uh, in the past be it RNA vaccine or viral, viral vectored vaccine or DNA vaccines none have been created in the past okay so these are the new platforms for human vaccines okay so we have discussed about uh, polio rabies and COVID now UPSC has a habit of asking this very traditional question they will give you give us uh, different disease and they will ask us to match whether it is created by uh, bacteria or uh, any other pathogen bacteria virus fungus so you prepare on that note as well the list of disease how they are created and sometimes they also give the vectors sometimes it will be uh, whether the vec vector is uh, our mosquito or flies or sand fly so they ask us to give um, pair this matching also disease and the vectors okay also one extra information which i would like to provide you is about bacteriophages 
Bacteriophages, the structure which has been presented on the screen will have head, collar, sheath and uh, tail fiber. So bacteriophages uh, or phages are bacteria eater. So these are the viruses invading the bacteria. Okay. And uh, a bacteriophage is smaller than bacteria and the genetic material here also can be either DNA or RNA. So why we are discussing this because UPSC has already asked this question. What are bacteriophages? So bacteriophages are bacteria eater. So they are the viruses invading the bacteria. And why we are discussing these days about this is that nowadays people are we are developing uh, this uh, uh, immunity uh, about antibody antibodies immunity we are developing so multi drug resistance has ha, is uh, being experienced at large scales so nowadays bacteriophages or bacteriophages based therapy is being uh, becoming prominent in as an alternative to antibodies uh, or you can say at least it is a supplementary approach to treat some of the bacterial infections locally okay so this is it for today in today's video we have discussed about the coronavirus we have discussed about genetic composition of the virus we have discussed about different types of vaccines how they are created we have discussed about how the uh, vaccines during covid times have been prepared and under what category they uh, they fall we have discussed about the traditional vaccines like uh, polio uh, hepatitis hpv how they have been developed and last information was about the bacteriophages hope you enjoyed the discussion and you must have got the conceptual clarity so we'll meet in the next video and also if you have not subscribed to our telegram channel do subscribe it for more updates for motivational articles and other related information till then take care we'll meet in the next video bye bye